wish you'd worn a hat, Meghan. Gust of wind proves hair-raising for Duchess after to ing and froing between palaces over her decision to let her locks flow free. A sudden gust of wind made Meghan's decision not to wear a hat on her first official engagement with the Queen rather noticeable, particularly as the monarch was wearing a striking green creation. Indeed, the Daily Mail understands that there was what palace insiders have described as some to ing and froing over the issue. Meghan and Harry are keen to present an image of a youthful, modern monarchy, which means fewer hats and gloves and more cutting edge. So a message was sent to the Queen's private office asking what the sovereign intended to wear. The answer included mention of the hat by Rachel Trevor Morgan, which some would have taken as a suggestion for Meghan to do the same. But after some discussion, it was agreed between Buckingham and Kensington Palaces that the Duchess would let her brunette locks flow free. On the other hand, Meghan's figure-hugging Givenchy dress was a show of respect for the Queen, fashion commentator Lucas Armitage said. The Duchess of Sussex opted for a regal monochrome number as she joined the Queen for their first official joint engagement in Cheshire on Thursday, proving herself an exemplary royal, he said. The custom-designed number, which fell to just below the knee, featured a thin belted waist and was paired with a sensible black clutch and pumps, and sheer tights. Lucas told Mail Online for Mail. Meghan has opted for a neutral color once again. I feel this is a clever styling tactic as it will always work with the Queen's look. She is known and applauded for her use of bright fun colors. Fashion fans eager for a glimpse of Meghan's outfit were not disappointed, with the royal giving her ensemble a modern twist in the form of an unusual cape as she embarked on a day of engagements in the Northwest. Commenting on their outfit choices, Lucas added, Train travel, for most of us, is a commute where we are in far too close proximity to other people, for the Queen and Meghan it's a much more regal affair. The use of neutral color on Meghan part is also a show of respect to the Queen so she never looks like she is trying to outshine her, he said. I would be shocked if Meghan never opted for a bold color, although it's interesting to note in her previous life she was a fan of bright hues. I think the Queen and Meghan's relationship at this point is one built on respect and Meghan has shifted her own personal style to adopt a more demure regal look, something I think the Queen will be thankful for.